pulse moving strongly and just holding a gentle pressure and allow yourself to be patient for as long as it takes, right? Again, it's like the mind wants to move, like, oh, I've got to be massaging, I've got to be active in order to affect a change. And sometimes just staying present and holding steady and just being there, holding that pressure is really what's needed more than anything else. And even if you don't notice like an immediate change, even if you don't notice things shifting right away, you can hold this pressure for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, or a minute, whatever feels right. Trust your intuition and trust your instinct. And when you feel ready, you can continue moving in those circular direction. So, you just take your time as you're working your way around. Really notice what you feel, right? Because here in the abdomen, it's very soft and squishy. These internal organs feel a lot different than when you're just working, you know, in the back or in the shoulder or somewhere that's purely muscular. So because there is so much pliability in the organs, it becomes a lot easier to detect where there might be a little bit of tightness or tension. Okay, so you can continue that same technique as many times as you need. You know, wherever you come across any places of tightness, any areas that feel like a little knot, right? We just dial in, land in that spot. Apply your steady, continuous pressure and be patient with the experience. Let yourself take deep breaths. As you breathe deeply, it sends a message to your partner's body, to their nervous system, subconsciously and non-verbally, letting them know to take deep breaths. And those slow, long, deep breaths send a message to the body that it's okay to relax. Okay, so this is just one technique that you can use, that long, steady pressure, and then just letting it guide you back into those clockwise circles around the abdomen. Now another area that can get a little tense is right along the rib cage Right? We have the diaphragm, and this is a very important key component in breathing. The diaphragm is often said to be like a second heart because it is helping to move blood from the lower part of the body. As you breathe, the diaphragm is assisting to help pump blood back up to the heart. So this is a very important mechanism in your body and it can easily hold a lot of tension. So I'm gonna show you some techniques for loosening up the diaphragm in assisting in a deeper breath, improving circulation and blood flow, and also allowing for more movement and more space for the digestive system. So turning to face towards your partner, I'm gonna come in with both hands, starting just below the sternum, and I'm leaning in, again, slow, gentle pressure to work your way into this space, right? We're not gonna just plunge in there. This can be very tender, it can be very sensitive, especially along the lower ribs. So this is very mindful, gentle pressure as you start to work your way in and connect with the diaphragm. Now once I've made that connection, leaning in, I'm gonna gently glide both hands in an outward direction, tracing the line of the lower ribs. Mm -hmm. And I can feel some movement in her belly. So this is a good sign. This is an indicator that it's working. As you come out to the bottom of the ribs, you can slide your hands out along the waist, coming all the way down to the side body. Gently scoop your fingers under the low back and trace the line of the top of the hips. All right, so this is a really great technique, feels super good. So 
trade with your partner. <laughs> We're getting little smiles and nods. She likes it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so again, starting with your fingertips right at the base of the sternum. We're gently leaning in. Ну, 
сейчас это уже выключено более отпустили. Mm -hmm. Ну, в том числе вот как раз снижение края диафрагмы сейчас тоже делает, в том числе и сама локтя мускулатура. Это правда, что правильное дыхание можно уменьшить от того? Что уменьшить? Если, да, если ты будешь э, дышать э, как бы полное дыхание, так называемое, когда ты забиваешь себе нижний живота, то это как раз и чуть-чуть грудь 